guys, I don't think I should upload this video, but I'm going to anyway. But I have sec I'm gonna have second dads all the way through this entire video, all the way through this series on uploading this video or these kind of series. Guys, it is coming up to Halloween and I've been thinking about things to do for Halloween, but there is this one thing that I've been wanting to do for a while on YouTube to cleanse myself, to help myself, to release everything, but being able to speak about it in a in a good way um but also to educate other people and help other people there's so many different kind of reasons why i want to do this video so i'm going to be doing a few part series this is going to be the intro i'm going to have like one two three four i don't know how many episodes it's going to take at the moment but i'm just going to go into detail full detail no limits about everything that has happened to me in my lifetime when it comes to the paranormal. Now, there are a lot of people who aren't going to believe. There is a lot of people who do not believe this kind of stuff. That's not a problem. I'm not here to tell you this is true. I'm not here to tell you this is real. I'm not here to tell you you need to believe this kind of stuff. I'm just here to express everything that's happened to me, show you what's happened to me, speak to you about my personal experiences in full detail because i've done videos of this in the past and i've missed out a lot of detail i've done videos like this in the past and i've not spoke to you about certain things or i've cut out certain things because of personal reasons because i've been too scared to speak about these things because i have put a limit over my videos and a limit over my content because there are a few things in my lifetime that i've experienced that one i'm going to sound crazy telling you two you're not going to believe me and free. I, I, I've I just been too scared and shook up myself to actually speak about it. But now is the time that I want to speak about it. Now is the time that I want to go off and express myself and put make myself back in that situation in a way to fully accept it, to fully let go of it. Because I personally feel that there is something attached to me, okay? And I'm going to go over this in the entire, entire series. I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm going to just go into full detail about all this. But I'm going to start at the beginning, uh, where I lived in my old house, the stuff that I, I experienced, my mum experienced, the things that we went through in that house, moving up, growing up. Um, another thing that happened that totally blew my mind once I've actually done it and once I actually realised what I'm doing, because at the time I had no idea what I was doing once I actually done that thing and I experienced everything, then I really shook myself and I really, I got really scared, okay, I got scared of this a particular subject of paranormal i kind of blocked it out for a while and it kind of you know moved things up a little bit there, there is so much to explain there's so I, I don't want to give it all away in the intro this is literally just me trying to express what's to come um and then we're also going to speak about the urban exploring and the paranormal investigation side of things if you're new to my channel you're probably not going to have a, any idea what I mean when I say this, but if you're not new to my channel, if you've watched my other videos and my old paranormal activity videos, my old urban exploring videos, you'd know that I used to do a lot of urban exploring. I stopped. And one of the reasons why I stopped is because we, me, I mean, we got freaked out about the last thing we ever done urban exploring. There was, it was, I can explain it. Okay. I'm going to go back on my videos i'm going to show you everything i'm going to go into depth about everything i'm going to get people in to speak to you about it as well i'm hoping to also get a medium in to speak about the whole entire situation and to try and figure out whether someone's attached to me or whether it's just the things that i do i i don't know i don't know i personally reckon there is someone attached to me because the amount of things i've experienced the things i've experienced urban exploring it's just un i can't explain it okay but that one time that we went urban exploring it changed us it changed us it changed us for who we were it changed us all together because it was so it was so freaky it was so scary that i don't think any of us really understood what was going on until it actually happened um uh yeah it was it it still gives me the goosebumps today we spill we speak about it today and we're like we cannot understand it we cannot <clears throat> we question it every single time we speak about it but i want to take us back there like literally i want to go back there soon and try and figure out what it was try and figure out what we experienced we'll try and figure out what actually happened on that night that we went urban exploring and our lives friggin changed forever like it was unbelievable. So I'm going to go into full detail of that. I'm going to go and show you the video. I'm going to speak about the video and I'm going to go back there as well. I'm also going to do other urban exploring and just try and show you 
everything what I mean when I come to say that um, there is someone attached to me and also when I come to say that paranormal activity is real and things can get out of hand if you don't know what you're doing does that make sense I'm trying not to give it away so this video is literally me telling you what's to come I've got a at the end of this video is like a trailer kind of thing about the entire series and we're gonna start series one soon and you're gonna understand what i'm speaking about <laughs> so yeah i hope you enjoy guys um i'm trying to not limit it i want to speak about everything there is so much that i've never spoke about there is so much that i haven't showed you guys there's so much that i've hid away but i want to i want to go in i want to show you all i want to i want you all to feel how i was feeling on them days um and show you all how scary the paranormal can be when you have no idea what you're doing so i hope you enjoy i'm trying my best to upload this to youtube but i feel like if i do this then i have no choice but to do these series i have no choice but to commit myself to go back in time kind of relive it all and express everything to you so yeah peace guys Um, in the kitchen and I looked up and in front of me in the mirror in the window was some guy he was an old guy he hit <coughs> Jack Ray right at the top of the stairs and it just flew down the stairs behind him I'm sorry if the camera is moving I'm literally shaking right now no we've been told point these rods to where you are standing in that door again no, I've got a picture of that. I can't see it. Oh, something moved on the right. On the right. On the right. That. Something moved. There's someone standing there. There is. There's someone standing with a black hood up. Oh, shit. I don't think she's there. And it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, my God. You're asking Hello. There's no one here. This is the, this is the room that we've seen him in. I saw like he was wearing a mask. Like an old fashioned cloak. Like, you know, the old style. Guys, I'm not touching it. It's not sorbet. It's not. Kate, I'm... 